If you're interested in multi-tenant BI for your clients, have I got a feature for you. Dundas BI has the capability that we call data connector overrides, which allows a single dashboard to be created for all of your tenants so that they only see their own data. And by the way, if you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say multi-tenant, and this is a new term, check out a video that we've already done called a beginner's guide to multi-tenancy in Dundas BI. This might help speed up your learning process. So data connector overrides. Here's a diagram in a multi-tenant Dundas BI environment, and you can add each of your clients to a specific section of the application that we call a tenant. The data connector override allows a single dashboard to be viewable by people within these tenants. And the difference is, as somebody opens it, the dashboard will check who they're from, which tenant, and pivot to show data coming from the correct database. Data from client A will be read from data in client A's database. Client B will see client B's data, and so on. There's no crossing of data, and everything is kept completely separate. But you really get to benefit because you don't have to spend the time to build a dashboard for each one of them when they're all looking at common things. Let me actually show you an example in Dundas BI on how to do this with a full demo. And whoever stole my copy of Microsoft Office, I will find you. You have my word. For I am Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. So let me show you how this works. Start by creating a project. Now, first of all, you're never gonna have as many projects as I do here, so don't worry about that if it looks complex, but basically give it a name and set the security on it. In this case, I'm gonna make it public. Now, once you have a project, we'll go and we're gonna build a dashboard. So in this case, I'm just gonna build a blank one for you now, and then I'll go ahead and actually fill in a real dashboard later. But you can see the dashboard object here living within the project. So let me actually show you what's going on in the database behind the scenes. Here you can see that we have two separate databases, one for client A, one for client B. Now the data that I'm showing is actually football statistics. So first of all, I've got a statistics table. And in this case, you can see all of the information that I wanna show. And also what we call design elements. The purpose of the design elements is to store information like logos, text, other things that I want to change from client to client. Now also notice that Client B's database has the same thing, same structure, just different numbers coming out of it. So that's it. The third database is if I wanna do any global data. So information that's gonna be shared across all of my tenants, and that's possible. You can mix and match on a dashboard. Great for context. So let's first go and create a data connector to one of the clients. Client A will work fine for this. Or if you had a dummy database to build with, that's fine too, as long as it's the same structure. So we give it a name, say okay, and we're good to go. From here, we can go and actually see the data connector. So from here, I can expand and see the tables. And here's the dashboard that I went and built for this. So you can see that I have it for the New England Patriots, passing information, stadiums, Super Bowl wins. And even at the bottom, you can see that black line showing contextual information for all the leagues, not just this team. So we're gonna check it in and this will signify the dashboard being ready. Now we just have to set up our multi-tenancy for this to work. So first thing you're gonna do is go over to the administration screen. Now multi-tenancy is not done under the account service. There's a separate section called multi-tenant. So go in first and we're gonna add two tenants, one for the New England Patriots and one for the Colts. You can also define licenses here as well if you want to, who gets what. So let's go and add each of these. There's the one for the Colts. And you'll see if we open this up, we can actually go and add users to this. So if I add a user, let's go first and add our friend, Mr. Tom Brady. I do understand that this is older data, but he's still with the team as far as I'm concerned. And we're gonna add Peyton Manning, who as far as I'm concerned is still on the Colts and still playing. We'll say, okay, from there, nothing special other than adding the user. So that we have a user within each of these tenants. Now all we have to do is add a data connector override to each of these. So the Patriot should be attached to client A, which I've done. So I just modify the data connector to point somewhere differently. And for the other tenant, the Colts, I'm gonna modify that one. So that's pointing to the same server, except the client B database instead. So a minor change. 
And now because these are the same schema, the dashboard is going to be able to pivot between the two of these. So let's say OK. And from here, all we have to do is log out and test it. So what I'm doing in this case is I've loaded two browsers side by side, one for Brady, one for Manning. So as I log into each of these, they're both going to see their respective dashboards for their companies. And there we go. Now you can see that we have both logo changing, you know, number of wins, everything is relevant to each individual client that we want to show. So it's pretty cool. And as you can see, this is really easy to do. It's really all about the setup, the building of the dashboards, everything remains exactly the same. Now, if you do want to learn a little bit more about multi-tenancy, do recall that I do have that introduction video that you might want to check out. But another one that might be interesting to you is the video that we did on white labeling. This is the idea of actually modifying the application itself. Do you remember when I saw those two login screens, it had the Dundas BI logo? Well, with multi-tenancy and white labeling, you could actually have each one of your clients show a different login screen, maybe even with their own logo. So it can be white labeled as well, and it works perfectly with multi-tenancy. So certainly check it out. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.